Okay, in this segment we're going to transmit a 12 lead to the tough book using Bluetooth and then we're going to associate or marry or pat, pair it with the PCR. So the first step is get it to the tough book. What we're going to do that is we've already acquired our 12 lead and we're in the 12 employee menu so we're going to hit menu. We're going to go up to send. EPCR is what default. We'll select it. Now 44 is the tough book we're using so make sure we get the right tough book. Select it, and it's going to start connecting to the device and transferring over. Now, if you want to confirm this, you can look at your tough look and you can see that it opens a little icon down at the bottom, a little window opens at the top. You don't have to do anything, it just makes it feel better. You can see it's actually going over. It also tells you on your cardiac monitor the different configuration, how fast it's going over, and so forth, and tells you it's basically done. Alright, so, so it's just that fast. Just a matter of four seconds. All right. Now we can wait just a minute, or we can hit refresh. And there's all our 12 lead files we got down here. All right. So that's as far as getting it to the tough book. It's over here now. Now we have to marry it or, or match it to the PCR. So I already started PCR. We'll come open it. Once it's open, you can go up to the gym clip, select it, then you should have a, a window that pops up that says mobile attachment window, select EKG, gives you a list of EKGs, and you can double tap them, or you can hit the little plus sign once you select one, it will add it to that PCR record. Once you've selected, you can hit show, you actually can view the EKG on the screen and you can maximize it and make it bigger. Okay, so you finished your call and you want to do your event summary or code summary as a lot of us are used to. So you'll turn your monitor on. We're going to go into the data management menu. So you hit menu and go down to scroll down to other, select other, then data management, select it. It's going to give you a warning you're leaving the, the patient uh, monitoring mode. So you always want to do this after your call. Hit Acknowledge. Now we're in the Data Management menu. Now, you would think you'd go up and down with these arrows here, but actually it's these two here. So you hit the next item. I'm going to scroll down to one of these. It has the 12 leads, so it's got a little more, more data. It doesn't really matter. All right, so see, this is your call. It's two calls ago, and you want to send it to the tough book. All right, so you're going to hit, highlight the call. So you're going to hit Menu. Scroll up to Send. Your default is all event data, or you could just do the 12 label. In this case, we're going to do all event data. Make sure it's the right uh, tough book. It's number 44. We're just pu pushing the file over. It'll let you know it's, it is working. 97% complete. Confirm. Standby. Done. Disconnect. It's just to make you feel good. You don't have to do anything with it. All right, standby. Disconnecting. All right. It's sent over there. All right. So now we're going to come over here to our uh, tough book. And go over to a flow chart. I've already got a, um, a PCR open. So we have to, first we have to associate that file with this PCR. So we'll go to uh, the little uh, gem clip, EKG. And there's the file name. And notice it says Heart Smart, Heart Start rather, instead of 12 lead. So that's the file we want. So we're going to highlight it. Be able to just double click it like that. It's there. Alright, so we cancel out of this. And this to that. Update the PCR. Now we're going to go look at two things. We're going to go look at the flow chart and the vital signs. Flow chart, notice it has EKG monitoring. And this may be two separate 12 leads, or maybe just when you turn on the monitor. So you need to make sure that that should, that should read 12 liter or the ECG monitor, whatever is appropriate for what the activity is. Also notice pulse ox is in there. In our scenario, the pulse ox was there as well. So if you go to vital signs, notice the pulse ox or pulse reading from the pulse ox is entered there in the timestamp. So just double check those and make sure those are correct. And that's basically all you have to do.